Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. All right. Um, okay. So welcome to another physics competition. We have two students, one from Ivy League, Hello. Brown, another oh. failure, <laughs> another from Shubhan Isaac from East Tony Brook. Okay. Here's the problem. The problem is going to be very really challenging. Look, 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 look. You have 90. Uh, well, let's put it this way. You have 98 neutron box sitting on where? On a uh, on a on a floor, and this is 20 meter inclined, and this is 10 meter, right? Wait a second. And you apply uh, F A is of course 64 uh, newton. Find acceleration. Go. The force changes every what? day, doesn't it? Uh, it has to. Okay, find the acceleration. Let's see who can find it faster. Uh, do they give you like materials for friction? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to make any comment. Is there any friction? Yes, friction. There is friction. Uh, how I Potential energy on the top and then work by applied force and okay, subtract from right. each other. Find the friction. You're right. You're right. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, there is friction. <laughs> he, he took half an hour to say. There is friction? Or? Yeah, there is friction. Okay. Oh, you're Potential energy on the top and then no, that's out. Isaac, you cannot use this marker. I'm sorry. What? Because this marker... It's not visible. Okay. Hmm. Go ahead. His brain goes like hookah, chaka, 10, 20, 30. Ha! Oh. What is the question? Acceleration. Okay. So given that, given that, we know that With the 54, I think acceleration is zero, not 64. Because 54 is constant velocity. What the hell is it? It's not constant velocity. No, but the friction is also greater. Friction is? Also greater. Greater? Yeah. No, How? it's not. <coughs> How? 64 minus 15 minus... Where the hell you got this from? Oh, wait a second. Yeah. yeah. The... MGA. 98 times one. <coughs> that's a 98 times one away. Two, right? <coughs> Sorry, baby. Yo, you good? Uh, M is. Wait, let me let me try. There's no way that's right. Sign is equal. Wait. Oh yeah. Shit. No, right. no, it's not right. M is how much? M G is not. M no. M is uh, <coughs> ten. That doesn't really matter. We are. Okay, so 98. Uh, sign what? Sign. Thirty. 30 degree. Why sign 30 degree? So why sign 30 degree? Okay. Angle is All right. So sign 30 degree. Okay. Go ahead. What do you got? He gets 49. So 49 is what? So 49 yeah, is F to Okay. Now you have to write acceleration is what? Well, the net okay. force is zero. I think so, no, acceleration is what did he write? He just the net force. Okay, 64 minus 15. Okay, 15 came from where? Friction. Friction. And 49 came from here? Yes. And that gives us how much? Zero. Why zero? Did you make a mistake with your calculations? No. Because, no. Not at all. Because you just did you? Alright, so this is... Uh, si so 64 correct. minus 64? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, I thought 54 give it uh, acceleration yeah. is zero. But 54 was with probably a... No, it was uh, the same problem. Really? Yeah, yeah, I thought 54 give the... Let's try it with 54. Maybe... Uh, okay, but if you try with 54, that's not enough. Maybe. This is 1080 joules. Let's see. Then U is 90. Oh, oh, I think the applied force was different. Oh, no. Yeah, the applied 54. force was 54. That's what we were talking about. Um, then work FF is 100. So yeah. then FF is minus 5 units. Yes. But that's not that much. Then we have 54 minus... We'll go back to 54. Uh, no, you have to find uh, mg sine theta. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's also zero because uh, uh, you could say that as the applied okay, force increases, me, let, the friction increases with it. So the total net oh, force is zero. Let me do the problem in general. Okay, so mgh, let's say this. Make, make it uh, just a variable f. Make it just f a. Yeah, sure. Let's say this is FA. I'm then sure there are multiple zeros. To the this work point. done by the applied force will be FA. Uh huh. You want me to keep the same distance? Yeah. Okay, I so think that's the same. It will be 20F A. Uh, and work done by friction will be 20 FA. All this, uh, where, where did 1280 come from? Uh, yeah, 20 FA. Okay. So 20 FA is it 1280 or is it 1080? No, that 1080 is for 54. Oh, 64 yeah. is 1280. Also, okay. the work done by friction increase. Uh, okay, so yeah. 64 times 20 is how much? 1280. 1280, okay. yeah. Then we want to 64. divide that by 20, so that's just FA minus 49 is equal to FFR. And then, hmm, that's how that sounds weird because then it should be FA minus FA plus 49 minus 49. Hold it. Hold it for one second. Now I think you can see why it's always zero. Oh, because these two cancel out? Yeah, these cancel out and these cancel out. So the net force is always zero? Yeah. Why is the net force always zero? What's happening? So essentially... Uh, as the applied force increases, the force of friction has to increase with it. Why? Mm. Uh, let me... Uh, this is actually kind of weird. Why would the force of friction increase with, yeah, increase with the applied force? Wouldn't the, wouldn't the force of work done by friction just be mu uh, Fn times D? Perhaps F A Mu doesn't depend on F A, F N doesn't depend on F A, D doesn't depend on F A. What I'm thinking is maybe uh, no. Uh, what <clears throat> okay, so fifty five. Okay. Fifty five. Fifty five is one meter per second is squared. Uh -huh. I think you should check the math. Okay, you should check the math. Here. How, how do you get fifty four times twenty? What? Oh, so 54, okay, so let's say it's 55 times 20. Okay, can I show you why it's always going to Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Where is the, the mistake? Okay, so 55 is going to give us what? Uh, 10. 10? No, 55 times 20 is going to give us 1,100. Uh, I'm not using this. Okay, oh, so okay. FG parallel is MG sine 30, right? Uh-huh, so, so that's the correct. 49, right? Yeah. And I cannot use this 5 because... Five. Because it's not 5 with 55. 55 is going to be what? Is it going to be still 5? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's going to be so 6. So F, F equal to MA, so you have 64, right? Yeah. Applied force is 64 minus... Wait, 64, 50... Okay, let's say 64. I thought it was 55. No, let's say 64. 64 minus... Uh, minus 49. 49. Minus? Minus, then it can't be 5 anymore. Oh, it, it cannot be fine, 5. Yeah. So, that's oh, not gonna work. oh, okay, so that's that. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I see the typo. I see the typo. So, what happened? So Is always gonna be constant? Yeah, it's always gonna be zero. But how does that make sense? Why is always gonna be constant? Hmm. It's a constant when the force of friction is equal to applied force. Yeah, let me analyze this. So, uh, okay, so when you have work, FA, yeah, let me, let me do it in general. Yeah. Then you will see. So there has to be at least some applied force, just that acceleration would be. 
Or perhaps, More than zero. Yeah. We can generalize every variable of this. So this is D, this is theta, and this is FA, and this is, I think we can keep the 98 units. Because it's just a good number, make it, uh, mass is 10. So then we have work applied force is equal to the potential energy at the top, which is going to be, I think, D sine theta, wait, no. Okay, so U is going to be D sine theta times the mat, uh, weight from 98 D sine theta, while work FA is going to be uh, always FA times D. Wow, mind blowing. Oh, wait. What? So the work done by friction, uh, shouldn't we also subtract the work done by gravity? Really? No, applied force, okay, work well done. Oh, yeah. I'm, the gravity is also I, acting. Wait, no, but. Uh, put the vectors, put all the vectors. Yeah. Yeah. Force yeah. of friction, that's force of friction. Work gravity. done by gravity parallel. I think you have okay. to take that yeah. into account. Let me see. Uh, that's the potential energy. And then as you push it along. Um, or maybe it's plus. Yeah, let me... Yeah, let me, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's plus because they're acting in the same... The applied forces, you have to... If you make applied forces plus, everything else is minus. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. So which one is applied? <coughs> okay, so applied is minus, so everything is plus. And, and friction is also... Yeah. Yeah, so you wrote friction, right? I wrote friction. Um, yeah, it looks like this is what we get. You, you should write WF, not P. Meaning what? First of all, work done by friction. Uh, F A D minus 98 D well, sine theta. Yeah. Work done by friction is. Mm -hmm. so oh, so what, what do you mean potential energy? The PE here, MGH minus the work done by the applied force. Shouldn't be shocking that it doesn't rely on distance for the force of friction. Let me see. Um, let me write it again. Wait. So, oh, it's by virtue of the angle. No, no, no. we know that if angle increases, if angle increases. No, no matter uh, what variable you change, the angle is always going to make this zero. No matter if you change the mass uh, or the length or the force applied, oh. the angle is what causes everything. Okay, this is the work done by gravity. gravity. This is the work done by the applied force. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're in opposite directions. Um, put a minus sign here. This is the potential energy at the top. So. Um, All right. Today's competition uh, undecided because the pro. Okay, so uh, it solely depends on the applied force. Uh, I think no. Um, it depends on theta. I guess. Okay. So the problem, the the solution is. The today's competition, the winner is undecided. Wait, so... Uh, let's put it that way. Net force is equal to FA minus FF minus FD parallel. So that's going to be like... Okay, FA... So FA doesn't matter. Uh, in five minutes. FA never matters. No, that's, that's important.